What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Saints. So I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you always watch the full video. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. The divorce between Jeannie Mai and Jeezy seems to be getting very messy because now Jeannie Mai is accusing Jeezy of cheating on her. Now, I will say this is an interesting turn of events because Jeezy was the one who filed for divorce from Jeannie. And not only that, he dropped a song called Real Ends Don't Cheat. I mean, in his song, he said he didn't cheat and he said that he's been cheated on and lied to. He also sat down and did an interview with Nia Long and he reiterated those same words. This is my quote, real yeah. niggas don't cheat. You don't think so? <laughs> Hell no. What happens Little when a man gets cheat, to bro. the point where they're just like, okay, I'm filing for divorce? This has not been a easy journey. Right. Um, I can tell you that I'm saddened. I can mm -hmm. tell you that I'm disappointed. I can tell you that I'm uneasy, mm -hmm. right? But again, like God has put me in a different path and that path is gonna entail for me to take care of myself, do what I'm doing. But did you go to therapy with her? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right. So you actually addressed it. It must have been something like super, super detrimental that he just couldn't get over or they couldn't get over. Because at least in my opinion, again, from the outside looking in, they wasn't together that long. The marriage for sure wasn't that long. So I was like, what happened? What really happened? Like, for, to, for him to just be like, you know what? We're done. Like, divorce. I see, you know, I see... A lot of people know that hey, they break up, they split up, they, but they still be married. You know that ain't that ain't no better. But you know they still they still be trying. But and then even 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 for the the break up the the set the separation that come really like five, ten, fifteen years down the line. Usually for this this is like I don't were they together like two years? That's crazy. Right. Try to work through it, mm -hmm. try to do the work, mm -hmm. and it just was like not happening. Not. Well, then shit, you tried. Yeah. The way he kind of painted the picture, it just seemed like something so bad happened that oh, there was God, no going bro. back and their relationship couldn't be worked out. And obviously, this led people to believe that maybe Jeannie was the problem because men aren't typically the ones who initiate a divorce. It's just not common. Jeezy also claimed that they did have different family values and it did lead to a lot of conflict in their marriage. And also, it was rumored that Jeannie. But didn't y'all date before? Like, situations like, like family values and how you how you gonna treat certain situations, you work them things out or you figure them things out while you're dating. And then you get into the relationship. And then comes the marriage. So by the time you even think about the marriage, all the little issues have hopefully been worked out. I was, y'all must have been looking at the red flags like, you know what, it's, it's gonna change later down the line. <laughs> like, family was too involved in their marriage. In fact, it was rumored that her brother and her mother lived in their house. So that could have possibly created some conflict no. as well. Now, since Jeezy filed for divorce from Jeannie, they have been dealing with some issues in regards to the custody of their daughter, Monaco. The main issue is scheduling conflict. Jeezy has been trying to visit their daughter. However, the scheduling between them has made it difficult and Jeezy kind of feels like Jeannie is gatekeeping their daughter. So he's been trying to get the courts to step in and really create a time for him to see the daughter because right now they haven't been able to effectively co-parent on their own. It just seems like there's a lot of confusion and of course a lot of tension. So. They need the courts to step in and really implement this whole joint custody ruling. Now, Jeannie did say that she is willing to share joint custody. However, she believed that she deserved primary physical custody. Uh-oh. So it kind of seems like Jeannie was banking on getting full custody and also getting child support. But Jeezy is trying to prevent that from happening. Also, Jeezy is trying to prevent having to pay Jeannie alimony because he did make sure that there was a prenup involved and Jeannie signed this prenup however she's now trying to crack the prenup 
and right now she and her legal team are implying that Jeezy was the one who cheated this is what was said in the yeah, court cheated, documents bro, why further shows the court should enforce paragraph 8 of the prenuptial agreement regarding infidelity which provides in pertinent part that in the event that either party engages in sexual relations and emotional relationship or is emotional or sexually suggestive in communication with a third party via all forms of electronic communications including but not limited to texting sexting facetiming social media and or direct messages shall result in significant financial penalty upon the adulterous party so it's extremely interesting that Jeannie's lawyers <laughs> are trying to point this out in her counterclaim. So this definitely leads us to believe that Jeezy was the one who cheated, not her. If she was the one who cheated, she wouldn't point this out. And she definitely wouldn't have the advantage in this situation. But she's exactly. now claiming that Jeezy cheated, which is probably the reason why Jeezy was the one who filed for a divorce, because maybe he got caught. <laughs> Maybe he got caught and he was like, oh, snap. Probably he could have been like, I got caught. You don't want to let it go. Instead of me study trying and trying and trying like how supposedly court them did. Let's just end this right here. Like, you ain't getting over it. I already did it. Probably going to do it again. Let's just, let, let's just cut, cut, cut all ties. You never know. It's always two sides of the story, especially when it comes to people that we don't personally know. You never know what's going on with these people, bro. If things hit the fan, if things turn left, she's going to try to come after my money. So he decided to foul first and he made sure to emphasize the prenup in his fouling. So he's really trying to protect his assets. But Jeannie is like, nah, uh, uh, you're not just going to leave me with our child and expect not to pay up. You going to have to pay. Now, is Jeannie wrong for doing this? Honestly, I don't think so. Because, I don't like that shit, Let's be man. real. Jeannie was the one who was trying to work on the marriage. If she really wanted to just up and leave and take his money, she would have done that. But she didn't. She wanted to give Jeezy a chance. But it seems to me like Jeezy just didn't want to stay. He probably couldn't put up with Jeannie's attitude because Jeannie did say that she had a bad temper. This came out of her own mouth. And Jeezy doesn't tolerate disrespect like that. He's not like Jeannie's ex-husband, Freddie. He's not going to sit there and be talked to any type of way. So he probably would be the type to not be bothered with anything that inconveniences him. Instead of facing the problems head on, he would be the type to run away from them. One thing I've noticed in that interview that Jeezy did with Nia Long is he emphasized the fact that he puts himself first. He always talks about focusing on himself. Jeezy has been through a lot of trauma in his life. He had people trying to take his life. He witnessed a lot of gun violence growing up. He was touched on as a child. He had a very toxic relationship with his mother. There's just a lot of trauma that he dealt with and it makes him not trust other people. And also it makes him oh, not want to be loyal to other people either. This is why I feel he's always going to look out for himself. And in this situation with Jeannie, he couldn't really handle being married to her. Things got too tough. Things got too uncomfortable. Things got too inconvenient. So he did the only thing he knows how to do. And that's to put himself first. To plainly put it, Jeezy Dang. is just selfish. Jeezy is a selfish man. And one of his former employees and former friends actually came out and exposed him. This guy by the name of Clemenza, a.k.a. Clem, has been... I don't know about this. Like, can you really trust the word of an ex-friend? You're the ex-friend, bro. Like, you got cut off for a reason. It's like, it's like if it was a significant other. I don't know if I can trust your word. You're cut off for a reason. So why are you speaking out? Exposing Jeezy because Jeezy double-crossed him. He basically said Jeezy is not loyal to anybody. And he pretty much cheated on all the women that he'd been with. And he confirmed that Jeezy was still in communication with some of his side chicks while he was with Jeannie. Jeezy, you're not a real nigga. You know why? Because your wife just came out and said you cheated on her. You cheated on her. She said she did not cheat on you. And I believe her because I know you, nigga. I know you. And I could probably pick on who you cheated on with her with. Because a few bitches I know you still stay in contact with. I know because they told me I talked to them. 
This motherfucking Jeezy filing for divorce is nothing new. This nigga never been loyal to anything. J Tight Pocket Jenkins never <laughs> been loyal to a motherfucking thing. His first baby mama. He left her in the hood because he was goddamn tired of eating noodles. I guess. Second baby mama. He left her because she, I guess he didn't want to eat fufu no more. I guess that's an African food, fufu. And the third baby mama, the wife, now he ain't left her. I guess he tired of eating bam bam shrimp and Korean barbecue. I don't know what the fuck going on. But I do know what's going on. That ain't never been loyal to shit. So that's what... Yeah, I ain't going for it. You don't... Right on, no, nothing he talking about, dog. If he was talking about real fact, he would have came on real fact. He wouldn't have made up a little pun about, oh, he's tired of eating foo-foo. He was tired of eating... Bruh. Go sit down somewhere, Rick, dog. Clem had to say, and also Clem told a very interesting story about Jeezy's ex fiance Mai. Jeezy was engaged to a woman named Mai, and he was very serious about her. She had a business in Atlanta, but she was about to leave and go back home to Ethiopia. But Jeezy wanted her to stay in the States. And Clem said Jeezy put her up in this very nice house and they ended up having a child together and they got engaged. And then the engagement ended. And Jeezy quickly moved on to Jeannie and he pretty much left Mai to raise their daughter by herself. Jeezy ended up having to pay child support to Mai as well. And he tried to make it seem like she was money hungry and crazy and jealous of his relationship with Jeannie. But that wasn't the case. No, Mai was more upset at the you fact gotta, you gotta that, that bread. Jeezy not only left her stranded, but also he reneged on the promise to buy her a car because her car got damaged in an accident and they both made a deal that he would buy her a new car so she could take her daughter to school and get around the city and stuff like that. But he tried to re... Look, if your, your baby mama, your... Hey, Ladies, even if, even if your your baby daddy, if you're the if you're the person that who's up, and you, if they're up, you're up, whatever. <laughs> and your significant your baby daddy, baby mom, whatever. Hey, they can't pay a bill this month. They can't. Hey, the car the car just got completely total. It's gonna be a minute before a, a car gets replaced or whatever. We already know this short term bull. Or hey, it might have been their fault. If you have the means to wear, like you have the means to get this person a car, knowing that this person has to take care of your kid, get out of the way. That's what I would do. I'm not with a hundred percent take care of somebody, but if you're my baby mama, I know that if you gotta get on the bus, my my kid gotta get on the bus with you. And we ain't going for that. <laughs> we not going for that. If you about get, if you're about to get kicked out your house because you can't pay the rent that month, that means my kid going with you. No. Nah. We gonna pay the rent this month. Next month, you just get your, yourself a job. Make sure you stay, make sure you save us some money because we all know rainy days happen. Nig on that, and she had to take him to court. But yeah, he dropped Mai to the side, and he ended up running over to Jeannie Mai, and now Jeannie he's doing Mai. the same thing to Jeannie. He's dropping her to the side, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was moving on to another woman. But Jeezy needs to stop this pattern. He needs to stop this pattern of heal, creating broken boy. homes. He's been out here selling women dreams, impregnating them and leaving them. He needs to stop that. He really needs to heal completely before getting himself into another serious relationship. And also he needs to stop lying. I think it was right. very shameless of him to sit down and do an interview with Nia Long and try to get the black female audience on his side i thought that was a shameless tactic and he was lying the whole time he was over here talking about real men don't cheat that was a lie <laughs> and i feel bad for the baby I'm involved away, i feel I'm, bad I'm away, for Jeannie and jeezy's daughter it sucks that Jeannie and jeezy couldn't make it work but there were just too many red flags and they really had no business being married to each other they really didn't and this divorce is going to be very messy like Jeannie is going to make sure Jeezy pays up for leaving her. She's going to really make sure he pays. And I can't say I feel bad for Jeezy because I don't. Because this day was going to come eventually. He was going to F around and find out. And he got the right one. Jeannie is the right one. She's not going to play any games with him. And she's going to make sure she gets compensated for all of the embarrassment he put her through. 
Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. But what I was gonna say is real men don't cheat, little boys do. Make sure you like and subscribe.